All right, it is day number two, guys, and yesterday we checked out new software that was announced and demoed here at the Flight Sim Expo in Las Vegas. And everybody, today we're going to talk about hardware, which is really the more interesting part. Everybody, yes, today we're going to talk about groundbreaking news, actually, because the company of Wing Wing really announced some cool stuff. Very cheap Airbus products. <laughs> know the struggle fight some hardware that kind of goes beyond just you know maybe joystick and throttle quadrant is extremely expensive let me take a look at this generic autopilot panel for the a320 that includes the efis display thousand two hundred dollars but everybody that i guess is going to change now with the company of win wing it's a chinese company they made a really big announcement yesterday of releasing brand new a320 and 737 products i mean we talked so much about joysticks on the channel but never really about you know autopilot panels or mcdus because they're super expensive well they used to be because they're now super cheap thanks to win wing this is 79 dollars this is 129 dollars starting at it that is just insane Three two twenty and 737 Let's see what the quality on this thing is let me ask a real pilot for that it's nice if you consider the price of 120 for this. Well, it's got a very solid, solid feel. And um, yeah, I like it. Jan, do you approve? I approve. <laughs> so 747 Captain approved the new Wind Wing products. That's interesting. Well, my mind was absolutely blown by the delivered quality of the Wind Wing yeah. guys from China. Uh, I saw the, the hardware and then I saw the price and it's like my head exploded. You guys are the star of the show because you are really, you know, with groundbreaking prices, you're coming up with new civil aviation products. So, I mean, you've done military aviation for a while, right? Yeah, we actually come from like professional trainers. So I would say our, um, our basically civil side of things is is actually returning to one of our origin. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the quality is pretty good. How did you get these products to be so well priced? It's it's a lot of research in terms of yeah. um, in terms of keeping the quality, bringing the price down for the people that love the plane but can't afford thousand dollars of yeah, professional equipment. which it normally used to be. Let's let me do some testing. So this right here is the Urza Minor joystick, which is supposed to you know, simulate the real Airbus joystick. And this is really cool. So obviously most Airbuses, the modern ones at least, have auto trim. And so you don't have a trim setting here, but you've got a magnetic uh, thing right here that you can remove and fly normal planes that have trim as well, which is really, really cool. I think for $60 especially, this this seems pretty cool already. Uh, so Win Wing hasn't released a throttle quadrant just yet. Maybe that's coming in the future uh, uh, update, but hey, take a look at the joystick. So if you want. now we're going to have a look at the beautiful new autopilot panel, including the EFIS by Win Wing. How much is the setup? I think it was 300, not more than 300, right? No more than three. Um, I would say the left one was $80. Yeah. The right one was $80 and the centerpiece was 130. That's how I remember it. Okay, that's not even 200 then. This is like that. insanely cheap. We are already running the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, running the beautiful A320 here. And well, it's already synced up right here. We can set it up here, push that, and the airplane is supposedly coming up. So this is amazing. We can turn off the autopilot. This is crazy. And of course, stuff like Q&H. So all we need right now, we cannot test the MCDU because that's still in the testing. I guess software is quite a hard, uh, hard subject, um, but it's coming in July, the new MCDU. Let's maybe try this out. Um, so, I mean, we already talked here about the Urza Miner here, which does have a shock motor. I would like to try that out. Uh, maybe put out the spoilers. Oh, I felt it. Oh, so that's like a vibration, right? So yes. a little that's vibration exactly, yeah. just to give it a little bit more realism. I think that's pretty damn cool. I really like this. Um, now, we're also going to talk about the rudder, which is actually really nice. This is a Skywalker uh, rudder, which is sold out. How much does this cost? Uh, this is, if I remember, 330 Three? with the damper. Oh, that's not bad. 290 without the damper. 290 without the damper, but the damper is quite nice. I've always felt like a lot of flight sim products are a little bit too easy. You know, when you're in a real airplane, it turns out to be a gym, you know? Um, and this rudder is, has some very good resistance to it. So this is, this is also, also really nice, especially with a high quality damper. 
Um, well, I can't wait to see Winwing um, actually uh, selling the products online now. I mean, this has been a big release, a big star of the show. Um, but let me check out their military product as well, the F-18. Is that the F-18 yep. or no, the F-16? Uh, yes, exactly. The F-18. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. You All right. You know, I'm not bigger. that military aviation, but this right here is the setup from Wingsim. This has been released for a little bit longer, right? The F-18. Um, and it's also, of course, really cheap compared to other products. So let me try a carrier landing now on the F-18. We've got, for example, two joysticks right here. This is the F-16 joystick, which costs $319, and it is kind of, um, uh, what is it? It's, it's pressure sensitive, so it works like the real deal, and you can't, you can't it doesn't really do this movement, but you, it, it, it's kind of fly-by-wire, and it does, the, it's really cool. Let's let me try landing now. So this is DCS, obviously. All right, so this is our throttle right here. Um, seems pretty nice. We've got, this is like a huge one. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and put the landing, uh, landing gear down. And also, of course, the hook for catching on the, ca on the cables on the aircraft carrier desk. Um, that's nice. Do we need to do anything else for setup? Where are the flaps? Flaps are here. Oh, right, okay. Set her down. Oh, I'm gonna catch the cables. Oh, I did. All right, perfect. So we land on aircraft carrier. This is honestly really impressive. Again, I'm not that military of an expert. I guess for DCS flyers, this is perfect. Where are we, by the way? Is this, uh... All right, we're somewhere in the Black Sea. So this, so this is really, really cool, guys. And well, guess who's also here? FlightSim.com. Yes, you might remember my video on their brand new yoke that is forced feedback. Oh, uh, well, it's, it's doing well. Thanks to our Discord community. I see the vibrant. Yeah. They've added a lot more features. I'm sure you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been sending you updates like every week. It's cool. I mean, the autopilot now moves as you set it up. That's with, right. I mean, the, the yoke moves as the autopilot goes. That's right. Really cool. Probably the, the biggest feature that I've sent you uh, is, is dynamic force. Yeah. Right? So when you're slow, the, the controls are mushy. Tell me about the other products you guys are, 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 are having in the pipeline. Sure. At the back here is the G1000. We are going to be releasing a force feedback stick base <laughs> as well as our rudder pedals. You, This is not consumer, it's yeah. as you coined the term pro, prosumer, right? Prosumer. So. so you have to be a serious guy. Yeah. You want, you, want, um, you know, Products that last you a long time. Yeah. 20 years, right? For example. Yeah. yeah, yeah. On metal construction, heavy yeah. duty, pilot training, student yeah. pilot. So this is not for the Xbox user. This is for sure. Yeah, right? unfortunately. This not, is for yeah. someone who has serious expectations about flight simming. And again, I'm a big fan of the yoke. I've been using it with my Death of Field emotion awesome. setup. It's been a lot of fun. Ah! You're slightly impaired. Oh my, I didn't really expect this to happen. Why did it happen now? And I can't wait, I mean, especially the rudder that you guys have in the pipeline, that would be right. interesting. Our, our goal here is to transition flight simmers into real pilots, if yeah. it makes sense. The big difference here is that it really, like, it really is like real life. And real life is, you know, the Cessna sometimes can be a little bit of a gym workout. It is. Because it's, it's a hard yoke and I've always felt these consumer yokes are always so easy. Mm. It's, it, they just look realistic, but they don't feel realistic at all. Yes, everybody, it's a lot about force feedback now. I guess that's the future. Let's talk about a force feedback joystick for military aviation. We are here at the booth of Moza Racing. You know, they're pretty known for their uh, famous racing products, but they now are coming up with their first flight. Is that the first one? Is it the first flight sim product? Yes. Yeah. They're now coming out with their first flight sim product, the Moza, what's it called? The Moza Force Feedback Wheelbase. Yes, I got it. Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, you get that. Oh, it's shaky. Yeah. <laughs> so when you do extreme flying, and we're gonna crash now. Oh, oh we've just crashed, by the way. So when you do stall, it stalls right here. This is exactly what I think a real, um, a real fighter jet flies like. It's a bit of a workout because I've always felt like these other flights and controls are so easy and so, you know, weak. And this thing is hard to use, which is exactly the feeling that we want to have. So um, the good news about the Moza Racing joystick here is that it's relatively cheap. I mean, 
Um, prices are not official, but uh, supposedly it's going to be around $500, which is how much you would pay anyway for a high quality joystick like this. I mean, this is great. Uh, let's maybe shoot something. So about this joystick, it's coming in August. I will probably review it uh, at home. Now, right now, we can only play War Thunder uh, about other fight simulators. I don't know, but um, uh, it's going to be great. So I think this idea of, of you know having these consumer um, products that do actual good motorized uh, uh, force feedback is really cool because it really feels like real life. It kind of feels like the Airbus joystick I was flying in the full motion sim actually. It's kind of similar. Um, so I guess for Moza, my suggestion is civil aviation. I mean, an Airbus joystick would be really cool, but maybe that's coming in the next years. So that's great. So everybody, that's a wrap of the Flight Sim Expo 2024 here in Las Vegas on this in this huge hall in the Rio Hotel. We talked so much now about software and new hardware that's coming up. I'm really excited to try out the products in person at home in the flight simulators. Um, flight simulators? Did you say flight simulators? Welcome to another episode of the World's Great Thinkers. Today, we're going to talk about whether we should be scared of the Chinese. What do you think about the Vice and Expo? I, mean, I, I enjoyed it. So, um, the new hardware is crazy. I mean, yep. the new um, Airbus A320. Let's talk a little bit about the ideas of, of protectionism. Um, oh, yeah. Do the best job you can and don't let anybody else screw you over. Yeah. You know, so what do I do? The best job I can with x -Plane. Am I going to be intimidated by Microsoft? No. Am I going to be intimidated by frivolous lawsuits? Yeah. No. Microsoft? Not, am I going to have favoritism? Like, oh, if you like Microsoft, you don't like X-Plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I getting into that kind of petty squabbles? No. I don't, I don't think that's the right way to, to, to maybe put put tax or tolls You're on You're never going to accomplish a single thing by being scared of better yeah. competition. Scared. Oh, Sirius XM Radio, Elon Musk with Tesla, yeah. uh, people of the DOE coming with meltdown-proof nuclear power plants, which they have <laughs> and have been demonstrated on... And then you have these these protectionist people like, well, yeah. how can I slow the, the, the next generation of progress down? Yeah. You might think, and here's why, the seaplane dynamics in X-Plane are already frankly awesome. Well, well, located in a hangar on the ground. <laughs> yeah, going on check his phone Tinder. to check his, check his, yeah, to check Tinder on check his phone. Tinder, yeah. All right, should we do help? I want some food. That's what I want. I want food. Thank you, Eric, for, for extensively filming.